Hi, I'm Marie Perez, and I'm from the Zoombies team. How did I team up? I created the Zoombies team. I did that because I did not fit into any of the other teams that already existed. I was a newbie to all this, and when I started, I only knew Zoom and Padlet. And a lot of the other teams made it sound like you kind of needed to know something about the other areas. Luckily, other people joined the Zoom B team. Did I face any challenges as a team member? Personally, I faced a few challenges. I was very unsure of myself when I started, and I was very unsure of the process. It took me a day just to figure out Moodle. Never having done anything but Zoom and Padlet, everything was very overwhelming at first. As a team member, I didn't face any challenges. I had a very open schedule and great teammates. What challenges do I expect my students to face and how will I deal with it? I work with adult students who want to be in the class. Most want to work together. So the challenge is that most are, or many are, technologically challenged. So the solution is to keep it simple and take it slow. Also to use scaffolding, to put those that do know technology with those who don't. Also, many of the students do not speak the same language. But this is not necessarily a bad thing. This way, they have to speak English when working each other. And of course, that's the whole purpose of the class, to teach them English. What did I learn about myself? Well, I like collaborative learning. Though I felt like I leaned more on my teammates than I added to the team. So I do thank um, the Zoombies for helping me get through this class. And I don't like wasting time. I do not mind working through technology and working through hit and miss. But once I work through it, I want it to work. And there were a number of times with add-ins that I'd get through the process and then found, found out that, oh, I'd have to upgrade to a pay level in order to import something into um, my slideshow. So wasting time is not something that I care for. Yes, I have notes. How will you use Google Docs, Slides, and Forms with your students? With the students I tutor, I've already started them with Google Docs so that they can give each other input and encourage each other's writings. From there, I'd like to move on to presentations that they can use with their classmates and businesses. Then introduce them to Google Forms to show them how they can use them for surveys and for their businesses. I personally can see using Google Slides for presentations and workstation introductions. I see using Google Forms for quizzes and surveys. I know there are many other activities, but it'll take me a while to figure it all out. I've learned a lot this week, so it's going to take me a while to process everything and start applying it in both my class and in my tutoring sessions. Thank you very much.